Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today's video is leather, styling leather for fall. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any videos. Okay, so I'm excited about this one because there are so many great, <laughs> there are so many great leather pieces. Now, the majority of the items that I'm gonna show you are faux leather, uh, with the exception of shoes, because I typically buy boots and things like that in suede and leather. So I am in a split screen, and everything that I show you will be listed in the description box. So you just open up the description box, there'll be a link there, it'll take you right to the items that I'm showing you. My measurements will also be in the description box as well, so that will help you decide on what size you should get, hopefully. All right, so let's go ahead and I usually start with what I'm wearing, so we're going to start here. This will be the most controversial outfit. <laughs> I already will tell you it's going to be, um, and I'm okay with that. Um, I feel like I have a little bit of something for everyone, and that's what uh, fashion's all about, is having fun, going outside the box, and uh, trying new things. Otherwise, life gets really boring. At least fashion gets really boring. So uh, let's start. The the leather piece, and it's a faux leather, are the shorts. So they are a faux leather short with pockets. Here's the key to shorts. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is a secret. If you look for these three things, high-waisted, I don't care if it's a button like this one or if it's a paper bag, if it's a pull-on, high-waisted. Pockets, always good and then wide leg. So these shorts hit all of those marks, tick, tick, tick. They just happen to be in a faux leather. They are this beautiful black. Um, now I showed them to you how I would wear them here and now with a pair of heels, this shirt, this blouse, although this blouse, again, transitions great to fall. It's beautiful, long sleeve, the green is gorgeous. I hate to tell you, but I think the green is sold out. <laughs> they do have other colors, but yeah, unfortunately the green did sell out. Um, and then um, I love a big chunky belt. The Vince Camuto finally did sell out. You guys probably did it. <laughs> so many of you got this belt off of my recommendation. It was so funny. I could see sometimes what people, well, drives people, and this belt was great. But what I'll do is I will link a nice big chunky belt right from Amazon. You just need something with a lot, you know, in my opinion, I like gold hardware but in this case with the green i just thought that the gold looked really really beautiful and um the gold's gorgeous so now as we transition to fall because it is truly uh faux leather for fall um is that this is how i wear them you could wear them with a pair of booties okay so just like this put on a blazer, put on a little pair of booties. Uh, these suede ones from Vince Camuto are great. I have a dupe, as I have told you, and I went and bought the dupe because they came in a chocolate brown. I don't have the chocolate brown. On Friday, I am doing my top 10 favorite Amazon purchases for 2022 in each category. This will be one of them. Um, I want to show you the difference. This is also a Vince Camuto, but they're really, really similar. You guys, same back zip, same block heel. Um, obviously, it's not the same color because I, there's no reason for me to have two of the same color. But I kept mentioning this dupe, and I was like, you know what? Y'all need to see it. So I, when I saw that they had the chocolate brown, and I will show you this with an, with an outfit today, um, I was like, awesome. Um, by the way, nice wide toe bed, so it's great. So um, those, of course, will not be real suede. Price point indicative of that. Um, and then what I said, well, well, as we move even further into fall, how would I keep these shorts going? Really simple, with a tall over the knee boot. Now, I'm, I have this, I have very few rules for fashion, but one of mine, and I have mentioned this, if it is a shorter, 
outfit like shorter bottoms so whether it be a shorter skirt a sh pair of shorter shorts um, then the heel on whatever I'm wearing needs to be lower so this is just a simple block heel uh, very small like two inches over the knee now truthfully I just don't have a pair because in my move I realize somehow I've lost all my tights I don't know how that happens I don't wear them often but I would actually put tights on put the shorts over it and then put the boots so there would be a transition there would be no skin transition and that's how I would get it away from being you don't want it to look hoochie um, I don't think it looks hoochie this way because I've got a blazer I in this particular case I'm showing you I've belted the blazer instead of the shorts and I think it looks really cute but elevate it a little more and I'm, I'm telling you go with the sheer Oh, uh, you could go with an opaque opaque or sheer tight and it will look phenomenal so I also wanted to show you the shorts even though we did a black suede over the knee boot I wanted to show it to you with the BP over the knee boot why because just like when I tell you uh, whether it be a shoe like this or I've, I've talked about neutral colors elongating the leg right so if you take this boot and you'd be like but it's no the green and browns look phenomenal it's why gold and brown green and browns and tans they look beautiful together it's why gold looks so well with green so mix it up maybe you don't have a pair of over the knee boots but you went and bought these ones um and i want to show you you could use these too and it looked great. Now I wouldn't use the tights in this particular case because I would let my skin look like it goes all the way down. So it's sort of like having, you know, just a really, so it's sort of just elongating the leg and making it look beautiful. So I think that looks wonderful as well. And then instead of pairing like a, a black blazer, go ahead and try the one state blazer. You know, I'm obsessed by that. That's not my new favorite blazer because you can multitask it. It has those beautiful burgundies in it and greens and, and all sorts of beautiful colors in those houndstooth, but it's very, very minuscule. So it works really well as a neutral. Okay, let's stick with bottoms. Um, these are joggers. Um, so, so cute. And by the way, this is Walmart, y'all. Um, no joke, I am not a big Walmart fashion shopper. You know this, you watched my channel. Um, I was never a big Walmart shopper in general, and then when I was looking for home decor, it real, they really upped their game. So I said, I'm gonna give them a chance. So I bought uh, some clothing for this outfit. I bought some clothing for this video with regards to faux leather, and then also I'm gonna do a get this look for next week, okay? So we got a lot of videos coming up. So these joggers, super, super cute. Um, they're really, they fit well, they've got pockets, they're a high waist, they've got stretch in the back, and then they are a true jogger. So what I did was I paired it with this sweater, which I am obsessed by this sweater. Um, this is from Express, let me just take this tag off because I know I keep it. Um, I love this heart neckline, gorgeous. And then can you see the detail? I'm hoping the camera's picking this detail up. It's this crochet, it's got a puff sleeve, um, uh, you know, so it covers this part of the arm, just absolutely gorgeous. It's not see-through, I mean, I'm always wearing a black bra, but I have also worn a cami with this as well. So cute and really a good weight for fall. Um, even though it's sleeveless, it has a nice, weight to it so I really really like that um, so beautiful and then what I did was that I did the Vince Camuto black booties um, again you could get the Amazon dupe I will list both for you um, and uh, and I think the outfit looks really cute the other thing that you could do with these joggers is you could dress them down so go ahead and pair it with like a Zella a Zella um, quilted uh, kind of you know for a more casual but like elevated look i think this looks so cute with that um i like these joggers from walmart better than i did 
I think Vince Camuto was the pair in the Nordstrom sale. Sorry, this chair's a little low and it won't go any hard. Um, I think it was the Vince Camuto and I like these ones better from Walmart, 100%. Um, so I thought that those were really, really super cute. All right, so this skirt right here, this is a faux leather. This is from, um, I wanna say halogen, halogen. Um, this is gorgeous. Um, skirt it has a beautiful slit to it um, here's the thing I got a small so I would say size down but here's the thing originally I got this in the anniversary sale and originally they only had a medium available so I got it because I knew it was gonna belt it 99% of the time so it was no big deal but then a small came in I could even go an extra small so really forgiving because it's got this so guys, whatever size is available, if you think you can get away with it, try it. Like go up a size, down a size, you're ready. I mean, you can mess around with the sizes because of this. There's so much, look. Like if you're a large, you could get, you use this. I'm, I'm telling you, it's just amazing. Beautiful, it has this pleated detail and then there is a little slit right here on the side. Gorgeous, how did I pair that? Okay, so I paired this particular skirt with this gorgeous blouse from Walmart. I know! Um, and you'll actually see this blouse in a get this look because this was my inspiration piece, but I wanted to show it to you tucked in. It actually has a belted tie so you can have it untucked if you want. I love the pattern. Love it. Absolutely love it. They have it with the tie and they also have more. I'll list both. They have this one as well, which is similar. So that was really cute. And then of course the gold belt from Vince Camuto. That's just, it's, I love that belt. I really do. And then what I did was the leather uh, naturalizers. I wanted to show you how you could take something that looks as elegant as this, although very reasonably priced, a beautiful faux leather skirt uh, that looks way high end, and then a pair of naturalizers. Yes, you're going to spend your most money on this, um, but it's also going to last you forever. Um, for those of you that have not seen these, I've talked about them a million times, but they have a side zip. What I love about them is that they have a taller shaft, so you see how beautiful it goes with this maxi skirt. And then it has the tie detail, so I'm going to list both. I have one that has the tie detail, uh, rounded toe bed, the I love black and brown, you know that, and a nice block heel, non-slip, great. They also, this year, came out with a version where this is just solid. Gorgeous as well. I happen to like the slightly more combat look, so mixing that edginess with something very feminine and delicate. I love that look. So I, this is, I can't wait to wear this outfit. It's too hot right now, but I can't wait. All right, next skirt I also showed you from uh, Banana Republic, and I don't feel like when I was doing that video that I was giving it my all. I was sick, still kind of getting over the swimmers here, but that's okay. Um, so I really wanted to show you this fit and flare leather skirt. Um, it is a faux leather, um, a very, very good quality. Back zipped and um, it's just beautiful. It hangs on the body really gorgeously. So it has a nice high waist and then just flares out. But I wanted to show you um, how I would, you know, like, a, like I just really wanted to up my game in styling it. And so I wanted to show you how I would really wear this as I transition to fall. So you know, no matter, fall is funny because, you know, you have days that are kind of warmish and then you have days that are a little chillier. Um, that's what I love about this. So uh, the way I paired it was with the skirt, I paired it with something as simple as this blouse. Now you may remember this one from uh, the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. Still super reasonably priced and I love these browns. Love it. They look like little leaves. Um, I think it screams fall. I think it looks fantastic together they look beautiful and then 
these gorgeous suede boots. They are an over the knee uh, boot. Uh, wonderful by BP. Easy to get on. Very comfortable, you guys. Um, and uh, I think just looks so good. Like that beautiful camel color is such a great neutral for browns. I mean, it's just beautiful. And because, uh, you know, you've got a couple different colors of browns going on and I think a nice neutral uh, tan boot looks fantastic and then I paired it with another favorite Amazon belt I don't wear this one as much well mainly because we've been going through spring and summer um, I typically bring out the browns in fall and winter this one's a great one um, as well and I think it looks perfect it's a great chocolate brown and of course you know I love a good hardware and it's got stretch in the back so see this so it's really forgiving and I like the V on it so it gives it a nice your waist a nice slim look but honestly the skirt really makes your waist look teeny tiny that's the beauty of a fit and flare tiny waist and then it flares out so it hides our hips so I think this looks really cute it also looked cute with it untucked I don't know if I filmed it untucked but um, I thought it looked really cute untucked as well this is a very flowy blouse now the one thing I remembered about this I just wanted yeah I sized down I'm sometimes I'm a medium like in a blouse although I size down to a small on this one as well but um, a lot of times um, I size down two sizes so this is a I went to an extra small with this because this is um, a definitely I can't remember if this is treasure and bond okay yeah treasure and bond now you'll say to yourself well what if it gets cold well yeah what if it does get cold okay so I happen to show this as well this is real leather um, so the price point on this is going to be extremely high I am going to put this one this is by All Saints I want to say it's by All Saints I'm pretty sure it's All Saints yeah um, and it's beautiful I mean the quality the quality is everything it's got all the gorgeous hardware it's got this gorgeous belt it's a moto jacket it's beautiful though and it goes so beautifully with this um it would do i usually would just drape it over my shoulder and then if it got truly cold enough then i would of course then put it on okay you guys let's go to dresses now one i have shown you and one is brand spanking new so let's go to the one that I showed you and again I feel like I didn't do this express dress justice in the fall lookbook um you know when you're not feeling good it's it's sometimes hard to to you know do your best work so I wanted to show this again when it is faux leather so um it has this gorgeous croc print the style of this dress is gorgeous they have it in multiple colors so if you're like I'm not into the brown with the croc no problem they have this black one um, and they have this one here as well um, but this one is stunning see this part has the croc print and then you have this gorgeous silkiness so it's like, again it's that softness with that hardness you know of croc print gorgeous now how again I would style it uh, the way I style it with a brand new pair of suede shoes that I've been obsessed by um, these ones are from Ann Taylor I'm obsessed by this I'm these are like my new favorite neutral uh, heel one the heel is small two I love the way that it hits the vamp of the foot and I love a good pointed toe and there's room in the toe bed so they're extremely comfortable so they're a great great neutral and I think it looks really pretty all right next and the last piece is this green how gorgeous is this green this is another Walmart find I didn't even know there was a zipper there that would have made life so much easier for me to get this on it has a side zip ha! still managed to get it on though um, what I love about this one the color uh, I mean faux leather this is a great color and gold looks so gorgeous with this sort of uh, kind of an army green I would I would go that's my best guess okay so how did I pair this okay very simply I went with gold and by the way uh, these are like seriously my most new favorite pair of earrings. I'm obsessed by these. I showed these in the lookbook and they just go so beautifully with anything that is a green, anything that is a brown. They're just gorgeous. Um, anyways, uh, this one 
so 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 cute so it's got a pop collar these buttons are so nice because they're snaps they're not buttons so you can snap it and there is a side zip so it makes it a heck of a lot easier to get into and then i love the pleated detail and then it does come with a belt it's gonna need to be like you know let the wrinkles fall out of it and then i paired it with the same bp tall boots um because green and brown are that's what i'm talking about when i say that a nice tan boot is gonna be a great neutral. So it looks great with the greens as well. And then um, uh, just gold jewelry. And I will try and find, I've had a lot of these pieces for a while, but I will try and find something. These ones I definitely are available and I can, I can get for you. But I thought this was such, such a cute, cute, I thought this was such a cute, cute uh, dress and a different style. I will tell you, it's very, very warm. This this was the one where I was like, wish I would have put it on first because I was so hot by the time I got to this one because it has a lining on the inside that's sort of um, just a warm lining. So, which is great as we get deeper into fall, but like temperatures right now, no, <laughs> you'd melt. But everything else that I've shown you 100%, transitioning spring to fall, absolutely 100%. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you has been around with me for years, <laughs> years and years. And that is the Blank NYC Moto Jacket. Love this, it's a faux leather um, and a faux suede on the inside if I remember correctly. I don't think it's real leather, it might be. I honestly don't remember. I love this, this is the drape style Moto Jacket. I've worn it a million, trillion times in a million different ways. Um, I will just show you some pictures from past, past outfits, but it's beautiful and it's great. This one is no longer available, but I will list some that are uh, available and because I really think it's a staple. I have worn this with like shorts in the summer um, where, yeah, it, I, like in the spring or like late summer where it's starting to get a little chilly and it just elevates it. It just elevates it. Um, I've worn them with skirts, dresses, jeans, you name it. This is a great jacket, although this one, again, I'll find you something. Um, of course, I'll find you something similar. All right, guys, so that's it for my video on faux leather favorites for fall. Say that five times fast. Uh, how to style them um, as we move into fall. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.